members? Um, will as many as of that opinion say aye? aye. And will of those of the contrary opinion say nay? The eyes have it. Thank you, honorable members. Um, what is out of order, the honorable Junette Mohammed? Uh, Madam Speaker, it's only that I'm speaking now after the facts. But first, I want to congratulate the new members, Honorable Deco and the other member who have gotten their new committees. But Madam Speaker, I want to bring something because I'm a member of the select commi selection committee that is chaired by the majority leader, Honorable Kimani Shungwa. Madam Speaker, I must bring this matter out because this is when we are discussing this matter on the floor of the House, and I think it must go on record. Madam Speaker, yesterday in our selection committee, if you look at the motion that we have just passed, and you look at the list that has just been passed, and the names that have just been passed, is a list that consists only on the, from the majority side. There is no single change from the minority side. But Madam Speaker, the minority side had their own changes to do. And we were not punishing anyone. We wanted to reorganize our committees so that they can become more effective. Because if you want to punish anyone, you will de-whip him. And the de-whipping is done under Article 174, I mean Standing Order 174. But this one we wanted to reorganize for members who had three committees, members who had four committees, members who had more than two committees, so that members can effectively serve in one committee or two committee maximum. But as Speaker, we were denied to, that, to have that chance. Yesterday, for the first time in the history of this country, of this parliament, Madam Speaker, we almost went to a voting in the selection committee, where the majority blocked the minority from managing their committees, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, if this house consists of the majority side and the minority side, if the minority cannot manage their side, and they have to be managed by the majority side, Madam Speaker, if that is not capture of parliament, what is capture of parliament, Madam Speaker? If we have the office of the whip, and my leader here is the minority leader, cannot do any effective changes like what's happening now in the Senate. Madam Speaker, why are we in office? Why is Parliament facilitating us? Why don't we close those offices and then we give the keys to the majority leader and the clerk? They can run the Parliament the way they're the Speaker. Madam Speaker, especially the majority leader who is the chairman of that committee. Madam Speaker, what has happened yesterday will remain in the history of this Parliament and will be remembered as the worst day a committee of parliament made a decision in this country, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, what do we do with those, with those committees now? There are members who are coming to our offices every day who have one committee. And there are members who have three committees. So, we wanted to rationalize. And the majority now wants to run the minority side. How are we going to allow that to happen, Madam Speaker? That is a declaration of war in this house, Madam Speaker. And Madam Speaker, if that matter is not arrested by the leadership of this house, the consequences will be dire. So, Madam Speaker, I want to urge the majority leader. Now that he is the chairman of the selection committee, he is the majority leader, to show leadership so that this house can run in the manner that is invested in the standing orders and the constitution, where we have the majority side and we have the minority side. And people have joined those coalitions by choice. Nobody was forced. So if you want to get your committee from the majority side, go and join the majority side and get your committee. The committees were shared in accordance with the proportion, the proportion, proportion and representation of members in this house, Madam Speaker. Members went out on August 28th, campaigned, and they were elected from their constituencies to come and represent their people. So Madam Speaker, as minority side, I want to register here that our rights as minority guaranteed understanding order have been trembled on yesterday. Madam Speaker, and we, we, the, the way we are supposed to run the minority side cannot be dictated by the majority side. That's for a fact. Sure. Neither can we dictate how the majority side should be run by the majority leadership. So Madam Speaker, our, our, our proposal for rationalizing our sides of the committee was, re, was yesterday rejected through voting. We don't want to, we have a serious uh, crisis outside parliament. If the members wish, we bring that crisis also inside here, well and good. We know how to do it best. 
from 2013 to 2017 to all the time we have been doing it. We know how to do it. We have done frimbis here. We have met Uhuru Kenyatta cannot speak in this house one time. We can repeat the same, but we don't want to go that direction. We want to have a direction where we show leadership, and I urge the majority leader to take leadership and make sure our committees are brought here without any fail, and majority should not have a say in how we run our committee. If that demand is not met, I'm issuing here notice that the consequences will be there in 14 days. Well, obviously, honorable members, the first opportunity goes to the majority leader, who is the chair. So you, it's the floor is yours, uh, majority leader. Thank you. Thank you, honorable speaker. And honorable speaker, it is good that uh, the minority whip has raised that very pertinent issue.